when states are actually invaded, they may, and I'm going to go ahead and say the hard part here, use war powers. Former Trump officials and state Republican lawmakers are right now urging Governor Ducey to invoke war powers to stem the flow of undocumented immigrants at the Mexican border. Now, they say the governor should be able to order the National Guard and police to apprehend anyone they catch sneaking into the states and then send them back into Mexico. Our political editor, Dennis Welch, is here in the newsroom with more. Dennis, a war powers resolution, is that even in the governor's authority? Well, the people who support this plan claim the U.S. Constitution grants governors this kind of power to invoke these war powers to repel an invasion, in this case, the surge of migrants coming across the border. And at least one legal expert we spoke with today says this is a ludicrous reading of the Constitution, and this is a plan being pitched right now by two former high-ranking officials in the Trump administration. No one is talking about or suggesting that armed force be used against or in Mexico. That isn't what we're talking about. Ken Cuccinelli and Russell Vogt, two former top-ranking officials in the Trump administration, calling for Governor Doug Ducey to invoke war powers to slow illegal immigration. The simple act of catching people crossing the border, invading your state, and returning them back across that border is the only exercise of war powers that we're calling on the governor to exercise. Cuccinelli and Vote now run a right-leaning organization called Citizens for Renewing America, which is pushing Ducey and other governors to take this extraordinary step. And in our state, they have the backing of at least two dozen state Republican lawmakers who stood behind them at the state capitol. It's our time to step up and do something to protect our people. With record number of migrants crossing the border over the past year, Ducey has already deployed the National Guard to the border and pledged to send more. Currently, they work in a backup role, supporting federal border authorities, but not directly involved in apprehending migrants. This is wackadoodle stuff. Local attorney Dan Barr dismissed the plan and the idea that the U.S. Constitution gives state governors the authority to enact war powers in this case. People can, um, they can call what's happening at the border an invasion, but again, that's figurative. It's not an actual invasion. It's not troops coming across the border. Uh, and seizing land. And I did speak to the governor's office this afternoon, and their response to me was basically that the governor had laid out a border plan during his State of the State speech on Monday, which includes sending more National Guard troops to the border and constructing more border wall and obstacles down there. In the newsroom, Dennis Welch, Arizona's Family.